All right, slide six of our Google Slides scavenger hunt. Use the arranged menu to put animals in order with the biggest animal in the back and the smallest animal in the front. So we're looking at their size in real life and with the largest animal in real life, which would be the bear, to be at the very back of these animals. And we have a dog, so that should be the next size, and then the bird, and then the mouse. So how do we do this? Well, it tells us where to go. We go to the Arrange menu. So we're going to hit Arrange. Now, when we hit it, you'll notice that there's nothing selected. We can't select anything because we need to choose a picture to arrange. So let's go ahead and start with the bear. Now, when I hit Arrange, you'll notice that the order, center on page, and rotate are all available. So I can hit center on page, and it'll move it to the middle. But we care more about ordering it. We have a couple options. We can bring it to the front, we can bring it forward, send backwards, and send to back. Now, there is a difference between these two. Bring to front puts it in front of everything. It is the thing that, quote unquote, is closest to us. Bring forward moves it one position forward. I might be easier to show you that with doing backwards. So if I send it backwards, it'll move it one behind, and you'll notice that the bird has moved. Uh, up one, but it's still in front of the mouse. I'm going to hit Command Z to undo that, so you can see the difference when I do order, send to back, it goes all the way to the back, which is where we want the bear to be. Of course, I love that Google Docs gives you your shortcuts, you know, especially here since we're on Mac, so we can use the Command Up or the Command Shift Up to change these things. So we need to put the bear in the back, then let's go get the dog, and let's move it on top to see where it's at. Well, it's way too far up. So I'm just going to hold Command and down, down. Now we need to put the bird. You know, it's in front of the dog. can't really see it. So I'm just going to change the scaling a little bit to make it smaller so I can see it. Uh, I need to move it behind the mouse. So Command, down. Or I could have just grabbed the mouse and hit Command, up. And now let's move the mouse on top of the bird and there you go stacked neatly on top of each other so the range menu is really good so as you start working with text so for example if my text was behind everything that would not be very useful uh, so knowing how to move it forward and backwards is really really nice